Hello everyone and welcome back to this lesson. So today is a continuous of our lesson from previous video. Okay, if you haven't watched the video, please watch it first because that was our previous revision. So today is still we emphasize on this one. Cikgu ingin tekankan um, this one. You need to do get dress so it's all about the clothing okay the clothes and it's on page 82 muka surat 82 so right here or previously we have learned about these um these clothes okay from number one until number 10 and on the previous video cikgu ada tunjukkan juga contoh gambar-gambar pakaian yang lebih menarik so, please go and watch that video first if you want to do your revision. But today, we are just going to emphasize on the spelling. Okay, spelling. Why? Because after this, is uh, the quiz is about your spelling. So, that's why I would like to um, bring you to do some revision about the spelling of the clothes. All right? So let's start with number one, okay, which is the jeans, okay, jeans. So how would you spell jeans? J E A N S, okay, don't forget the letter S, jeans, okay, jeans, J. So that's the first one. Number two, we have the sweater. Uh, ini yang kamu pakai waktu. Sejuk sweater. So how would you spell sweater? S, -S W E A T sweater E R. Okay, sweater. Okay. Number three. Let's have a look on jacket. Jacket. J J. Okay, so it starts with the letter J. J A C K E T. Jacket. Right? J. J. Jacket. So number four, we have the skirt. S. Okay. S. So it starts with the letter S. K I R T. Skirt. Okay. No S. Okay, tidak ada S, huh? Number five, we have the shorts. Okay, seluar pendek. Shorts. And look at behind, ada huruf S. Okay, how do you spell? S-H-O-R-T-S. S. Short. Okay, S-H lah. Short. Okay, shorts. Ada S. So that's number five. Let's see number six. Number six, we have the cap easy. How do you use spell cap? Okay. K -k. Okay. K. C. C. A. P. Cap. Okay. The cap. Puppy. Okay. Number seven. Ah, ini penting ah. When we want to walk to any any places, okay, bila kita mau pergi mana-mana tempat, we would need to wear our shoes, okay, some of you wear shoes, or maybe sandals, okay, but shoes, how would you spell shoes, sh, okay, sh, sh, and then o, e, and don't forget the letter s, shoes, Okay, because it's in pair, ada dua, on your left and on your right side, okay, ada dua. So you would need to put the letter S behind, okay, shoes. That's number seven. So, kawan kepada kasut tadi is socks, okay, S. So it starts with the letter S, O, C, K, S. Don't forget the letter S as well. Jangan lupa huruf S juga sebab stokin ada dua. On the left and on the right side. 
Oke, okay, ada dua kiri dan kanan. So that's number eight. Socks. Next, let's move on to number nine. The T-shirt. Okay, T-shirt. This one ah, baju kemeja. T dash shirt. Sh S H sh I R T T shirt. Okay, I hope you are doing all right right now. Now we are doing our revision on the spelling of the clothes. Okay, kita sedang membuat ulang gaji uh, spelling ataupun ejaan untuk setiap nama pakaian. Lastly, okay, akhir sekali we have the trousers. Trousers seluar panjang lah. Okay. Seluar PJ kalau kamu panggil di sekolah. Trousers. Trow. T. 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 R. O. U. Okay. S. E. R. S. Trousers. Ada S juga. Because seluar ini ada depan. Ada juga belakang. Sebab seluar kita tutup bahagian depan dan tutup bahagian belakang kaki kita trousers okay so those are the 10 clothes that we have uh, learned again and again berkali-kali sudah kita pelajari tetapi spelling ah, you also need to master the spelling ejaan pun kamu kena belajar juga so right here I will send this link on our telegram group or I will share on the description of this video so let's see the instruction is simple you just need to type uh, or you need to spell out the name of the clothes ah, that's why we we did the revision just now the spelling but just in case if you forgot okay kalau lah kamu terlupa ejaan don't worry, you just look up on your Supermind student's book. Okay, kamu lihat kembali buku teks Supermind. No worry. For example, like this. My, mm, 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 my t-shirt lah, okay. T-shirt is pink. Okay, but it's still black and white. It's okay. So, number two, number three, I think until number ten. Ada sepuluh pakaian. Okay. I think I want to answer to demo. Cikgu ingin tunjukkanlah nombor sepuluh. Ah. Right here. Look at my cursor. This one. Number ten. My, this one. It has the picture to describe the answer. Kamu kena lihat gambar di sini. Lihat baik-baik apa jenis pakaian. And you type yo answer right here are uh, blue so this is the shorts so s h o r t s so that's how we spell shorts okay seluar pendek don't forget the letter s jangan lupa huruf uh, s di belakang sebab so, ingat ah seluar dia tutup bahagian depan dia tutup bahagian belakang so that's why we call or we put the letter S kita letak kuruf S di belakang so ini just one of the examples actually and for the rest of the exercise ini latihan untuk anda buat ha? and please 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 uh, spelling must be correct kalau salah for example let me type this one number 7 my Okay, this one is the socks. Okay, uh, red, berwarna merah. Socks, S O C K S. Okay, that's the correct spelling. But I will show you what if you for forgot. Okay, kalau kamu terlupa letak S, kan stokin ada dua. Tapi kamu eja, kamu terlupa S. So whenever you finish, bila sudah siap click on this button finish and when I zoom zoom out 
this one check my answer what do you want to do check my answer ah cikgu cuma dapat satu markah saja because only one correct answer shots are blue but and you see this one the socks just now kalau salah eja dia jadi merah maksudnya no marks tidak ada markah jawapan anda salah so please be careful with the spelling right So, after you have done this, uh, take a picture of this. Ambil gambar ini. Cikgu mau tengok kamu punya jawapan. I want to check your spelling. Okay. On our telegram group. And I hope you got all correct. Kalau semua betul, kamu dapat 10 per 10. 10 over 10. Okay. If all answers are correct. Kalau semua jawapan betul lah. Okay. So, I think that's all for today. It's just a revision on the spelling of the clothes on Unit 7. Get Dress. So, I hope you learned something from this lesson. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.